Ladies and gentlemen, for our next fight, please welcome from Huntington Beach, California. We finally got it. We got MC and D from Head PE. Now, how hard did it? How hard was it to go on the strange story score as being the rock act of the whole package? Oh, okay. Well. Uh, it wasn't hard at all because we're not just your average like rock band, you know, because we have elements of a lot of different styles that we incorporate into our music and a lot of it is hip hop and soul influence, so it was kind of, we were well received by those people, you know. Hey, I mean you guys went, I mean it was a phenomenal tour, man. Yeah. And you guys were the rock act, it was pretty insane. Yeah, yeah, we were well received by all the hip hop kids, but there's, you know, with the Cotton Mouth following, there's a lot of punk rock kids too that are there. So, you know, um, it's kind of a mixture of uh, youth that shows up. So, we fit right in as far as we were concerned. It was just a good package, man. Right? Like, like, the Vegas stop was probably one of the best shows I've been to during the summer. It was a summer tour. If you guys missed it, too bad. We're supposed to do it again this yeah. summer. Isn't it supposed to be an annual thing now? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, your video for From Insomnia, Suffer. Yeah. Hit one of the top metal videos of the year. I know. Can you imagine all those other bitch ass heavy, fake heavy metal bands just crying over it? I mean, that was dope. I mean, you guys were, you guys ranked in like the top 20. We were top 10. Oh. Yeah, we are top 10. Even higher than we us. Were, we were above Megadeth and Shadows Fall. Yeah. Which are two great bands, and some of the bands that think they're so cool who didn't even make the top 20. And I'm not going to name any names, but there's just so many metal bands that think they're so cool, and they're just so fucking lame. Okay, a lot of, hey, say what you got to say. Right, right? It's independent. Hey, thank you. Um, your demos from your Before You Sign to Jive. The A track and the, the CD, Church of Relativity. Church of Reality. Realities. Are they ever going to see the light of day, or will fans basically have to go into the No, eBay? we're going to sell Church of Reality, so I suggest that nobody buy it off of eBay. You can buy it at our shows. That's a rip-off to buy shit off of eBay. Fuck that. We don't see any money from it. You know, don't buy a t-shirt. If you're going to buy any merch from Head PE, you've got to buy it from the Suburban Noise website. Or else it's just bootleg shit that we don't see a penny from. What's the use of buying a shirt from a, a band if, they're, if you're not helping even to support the band, right? That's the whole idea. It's like a give and take. You know, you buy a t-shirt, we give you music. You know. All right, with your, your last record, Insomnia, there were special guests on the record. I'm not going to name any names, but you didn't really advertise it on the CD. You had to actually pick it up and put it in. Really? That must have been a mistake then. <laughs> like, it was in the package, I mean. Oh, yeah, you know, that would, is, was probably a, an error because we would really like to let people know that the Cottonmouth Kings, Tech 9 Big B are on the album, you know. Big B. And uh, you already started with collabs. We heard rumors that for the next record, you're gonna have the Dirtball and Motor on it. Or is that confirmed, or is that just? I'm not gonna it? confirm or deny any of these rumors, but people will just have to see what's up, you know. Okay, a lot of your old fans now. I don't want to say anything, but they basically a lot of fans in the mainstream era just go, "What happened to Hippie? They're faded. They're gone." Well, they're more faded than gone. You know, and I mean that statement that you made is, it, I, I'm not going to like debate you on that statement, no. but you know, maybe you may talk to some of those old fans, but you know, we're having more success than we've ever had. I'll, you know I, I mean? won't debate this, but I'll say yeah. this much. I remember I caught you guys on the yeah. Insomnia tour, yeah. and we caught up to Vegas stop at the Cheyenne Saloon. And that shit was crazy. Yeah. I mean, people were trying to get in to the last minute. Well, yeah, you know what it is, is you're not going to, like, see us on uh, the television or, like, hear us on your wackest Illuminati-owned FM rock station. 
but that doesn't mean that the well, honestly, the people that were into us when we first started are now like old and like soccer moms and dads, so they, they're not really down with the underground anyway. They're just like, they've moved on to like the wackest of metal bands that, you know, so we'd rather them not even be down with us anymore. You know, because we're just down with the youth and the underground and the truth movement and all that. And most of the people who were probably into us at the beginning are like, you know, entering into the mainstream life or like, you know, Little League and all that, you know, so we don't care about that. Damn, yeah, we feel old! Because <laughs> I remember being 16 years old and I caught you guys opening up for the Suicidal Tendencies. That was a great tour, yeah. That was like the first time I caught you and I've followed you guys since then. Well, that, yeah, you're like the exception to the rule, that's cool, but you know, it's good for us to constantly get new fans. It is! Because we're constantly, you know, changing with our, our musical tastes or whatever, because we don't, we don't have an allegiance to any certain, you know, mainstream this or that. As a matter of fact, we would rather be able to just make a living and we don't want to depend on like some fucking dude in a suit who's going to decide whether he wants to play us on the radio or the TV or not. Because fuck that, you know. Like some of the bands that you see right now on TV, where are they going to be in 10 years? You're not even going to remember who they were. So fuck them all. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's... We're getting on to the TMZ, quote unquote, more speculation. Uh, we heard that you're gonna, Hippie is going to release an, an album every year leading up to 2012. Yeah, it's on. I mean, that we're on schedule, right on schedule, do an album a year. And the, our kids, are, are the youth, are, seem to be supporting that idea. Yeah. So. <laughs> you're back? So it's working out for us. Oh, we're, we're definitely going to have right. a lot to say, you know. We're not just putting out songs. We're looking down with a purpose. We're trying to wake up the youth about what's going on and how they're being poisoned with, through food and chemicals and how the elections are fake and how the government's a bunch of fucking liars and 9-11 wasn't what they said it was and, like, the youth shouldn't fucking join the army and just so they can get killed. Like, we're, we're trying to put out some serious truth out there, you know. I mean, that's, I mean, I gotta say, as a fan, I love the fact that none of your records really sounded like you. That's like, cool, I'm glad you said that. Because I remember uh, the first record, I love Serpent Boy, and then Broke, I mean, that was just, a, that's a classic. I mean, if you're a metal fan and you don't own that, that's a must, then back to Base X. Yeah. It takes you even to a different place than Only in America and Insomnia. Yeah, right? It's, it's, it's a great catalog. Thank you, I mean, I'm proud of it. I'm especially proud of the three indie albums, the uh, Only in America, Back to Base, like Insomnia, because it really shows where we're at with the true fans. That the ones that don't have to be spoon fed from the TV or the, uh, the fucking, you know, mafia owned uh, radio stations or whatever. So um, now we're approaching our fourth indie album, and it just kind of puts us over the edge. Okay, um, back in like 2006, a lot of sites like the PRP and Blabbermouth were reporting that there was going to be an Only in America DVD. <laughs> well, we're doing a DVD right now called the DIY Guys, and it's, it's going to be out in a few months. I mean, we're almost done with it. So as far as like the Only in America DVD of the tour and all that, that was just pretty much speculation. Yeah, I, well, what happened was we had some footage from back then, but it was real shitty footage, you know. It, it wasn't up to the caliber that we want to give to our fans, you know. So now we've got some stuff that we can be proud of that we're going to put out. I'm trying, dude. Give a little reach grab. And i got to say this. It's the first night of the Heavy Hitters, hitters Tour, and uh, what can fans expect when they come to the show? Well, you know, the King Click is, you know, bomb. It's just we're lucky to even just be on the road with them, you know, so the whole situation with them and uh, the sub noise soldiers, it's just a good package, it's a good night of music. You know, when you go to a show and you see like fucking four fucking metal bands that all sound the fucking same, this isn't that. It's just like different flavors, it's like more of a party atmosphere. So yeah, if you guys haven't got your tickets, be sure to get them because it's opening night and downstairs, 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 downstairs is packed. So yeah. be sure you check it out and be sure you do not miss the head PE set. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thanks for being a friend of the band and a friend of hardcore music.